Dion grew up without a dad. Now an adult, he's starting a quest to find his father. I want to determine who my biological father is. The question of identity, it's something that makes us human, I guess. This journey is extremely important to me because it's about discovering where I came from and who I am. In 1985, Dion's mum was in a long-term relationship with a man called Peter. During a break in her relationship with Peter, she had a, a short-term relationship um, with another man, John Smith. Um, and as a result, and because of the closeness of these relationships, um, it's uncertain who my uh, biological father is. I've recently made contact with a man who may very well be my biological father. His name is Peter. I said, well, would you be prepared to under undergo a paternity test? He understood where I was coming from and wanted to give me that closure. If Peter turns out to be my father, obviously it's a huge piece of information for both of us. Um, I would like to uh, pursue a relationship with him. I've just mailed off my DNA sample um, and I expect the results in eight days' time. Paternity tests rely on a quirk of human evolution called short tandem repeats. These are patterns of repeated genetic code. We inherit a copy of the pattern from each parent. Instead of reading the full human genome, a standard paternity test compares just 16 tandem repeats between samples. Every time we do a test, the result is going to affect someone's life in one way or the other. Paternity testing has come a long way since the 1970s. For those who have doubts, scientific certainty is just a cheek swab away. So I'm opening the results from the paternity test. So we have obtained the following results to 99.9999% accuracy. Sample reference, uh, Peter, father, mismatch. So that's conclusive proof that Peter is not my father. So I guess that narrows it down to one possible man, John Smith. And um, uh, it's my, my next journey is to go find this, this man.